guys, my name is Gina Gemskull and welcome to episode 16 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. I am a bit of a dope and I've just realised this whole referral code thing that goes along with episode. I will put my referral code on the screen now if you want to go ahead and use it. Do you get more passes I think if you use somebody's referral code? I don't know. Somebody let me know down in the comments. I can't believe I'm like 16 episodes in and I've only just realised that. But yeah, referral code is on the screen and I will also put it down below in the description. We're at prom with Mika. Things are about to go pear-shaped though, I think. So Regina has found out about the whole texting with Mika and Mika's dad. Let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm nervous for this episode. Okay, here we go. Ten minutes later, I was still searching for Katie. I was beginning to worry. Maybe she's not coming. She would have told me. Let's go to the dance floor. If Katie shows up, we'll see her come in. Good idea. I'm glad she's got her hair back. If you didn't see last episode, ooh, look at them. If you didn't see last episode, she lost her hair. It was traumatic. I didn't like it at all. This isn't the ideal place to confess, but it's about as private as it's gonna get. Once this song ends, I'll tell him. I don't know how you girls walk in those shoes, let alone dance in them. Just barely, that's how. I might have to amputate a toe after tonight. They look great, but if you want to take them off and give your feet a break, I won't judge. Kick them off, tough it out. I always kick my shoes off if I'm out on a night out or anything. Generally these days I've learned that I am not a high heels girl. I go in flats, but if I do go in heels, always take them off. Um, let's kick them off. You know what? I'm going to take you up on that. Perfect. It's all part of my ploy to feel taller. No way, you're the perfect height. My cat is roaming around. If you see a tail swish by, it's my cat. He's just roaming around all over the place. Um, no way, you're the perfect height. It's your one redeeming quality. Phew, at least I've got that going for me. And here I thought I had none. Oh look, she looks so sad. Here goes. I love this song. Well, I don't want to ruin it for him. <laughs> I'll definitely tell him after this song then. Definitely. She's just putting it off. You know that Regina's going to get in there first. Hey, I could use some fresh air. How do you feel about sneaking up to the roof with me? What about your song? You can hear it up there. Beautiful view of the city. Great music. We could have a few romantic minutes alone together. What do you say? Oh, that sounds fantastic for 32. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'd rather stay here. Why would... No! I'd rather stay here. <laughs> as romantic as that sounds, I'd hate to sneak up there and find out we missed some absolutely unmissable moments of the prom. Hmm, very true. May I have this dance? I didn't know people actually said that. <laughs> Super suave, chivalrous people do, obviously. Then yes, you may have this dance. Oh, look at them. It's all gonna go wrong, isn't it? This setting isn't as romantic as the highway, but I really want to kiss you again. I give you the green light to do that. Hey, Greenoid, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. I know it really sucked for you to leave your old school and come here, and it's probably selfish of me to say, but I'm really glad you did. Me too. There was no you at my old school. Oh. So I was wondering, will you be my... You have got to be kidding me. He was just about to ask her to be his girlfriend. That doesn't sound good. What do you mean you can't make it? Oh no, poor Katie. She looks so nice as well. This is my prom, Aaron. Oh. What a douchebag. Holy schnitzel, was Mika about to ask me to be his girlfriend? <gasps> go to Katie's rescue or get Mika to finish? Really should go to Katie's rescue, isn't it? Really, she, if she was any type of friend. Hold that thought, I need to jump in there. Yeah, of course. Aww. Aaron, you promised you'd be here, you promised. Katie, give me your phone. What are you going to? Trust me. Aaron, let him have it, hang up on him. Let's just hang up on him. Do you hear that dial tone? What dial tone? This one. <laughs> this really blows. I'm so sorry. Come dance with us. Thanks, Greenoid, but I need to get some fresh air. Do you want me to come with you? No, I need a second to cool off. Both figuratively and literally. Aw, poor 
Katie. That was pretty badass of you. I'm really protective of my friends. It got me heated. Then let's get you some ice cold punch hot stuff. <laughs> oh, Gretchen, look at her. Hey, Gretchen. Oh, hi, green eyed. Is everything okay? I'm supposed to be mad at you. But I just can't muster any negativity when I'm around Phil. <laughs> He's the best thing that ever happened to me. That's great. Wait, why are you supposed to be mad at me? Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Hello, Dane. Nice tuxedo. <laughs> Thanks. He's coming like the things that he wears every time. I see your mother is chaperoning. How unfortunate. Big deal. So is your dad. For the last time, he is not my dad. He is my date. That dude is the dude you've been talking about. He is because I am so done with little boys like you. Sick. When I heard you were dating an older guy, I pictured college older, not grandpa over there. I'll take a harmless little laser and zap these sunspots right off. Grandpa, he's not even that much older. Whatever, he's hitting on my mum. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is not. Whatever you're into. <laughs> I'm into him and he's into me. He is big time into me, Dane. Do you hear me? Oh dear. Oh, here's Bernice. I like Bernice. Hey Gretchen, you look really pretty. Thank you. You... It's sweet. And you brought your dad... Oh no. Got it. <laughs> She's more divided. Oh, Principal Duval. My tuxedo rental didn't arrive in time. You can't buy class, but you can sure rent it. As I was saying, any students who display lewd or lavishkious dancing will be promptly ejected. Hey, Miss Pack, Miss Tucker, put her skirt down. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa, that's enough polyester to polyester friction to start a fire. Now let's take our viewers deep into the dance floor action. As a great poet once said, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and gr- That's right, Karen. But this level of PDA is just straight up revolting. Is he trying to chew her tongue off? What is your deal, Damien? My deal? Do you see? <laughs> Shut up, Karen. I spend the whole year trying to save our friendship and then you replace me with Karen Smith. You're the one who replaced me with Kevin Tongue Chomper Gnapore over here. Tongue Chomper? Yo, I could ride with that. <laughs> I didn't replace you. You and Kevin are in like completely different boxes. Oh, so now I'm just a box to you. He's such an idiot, Damien, isn't he? No, I didn't say you are in a box. I said you're in a box. <laughs> a lot of box talk for someone who's supposedly not a lesbian. Really, Regina, this again? Well, you know what, Janice? I've got boxes too. <laughs> I have a box for people I like and another box for ex-friends. So harsh. I hope you like it in there. This is going to get crazy views. Karen, have you seen Phil? Ow! Whoops. <laughs> she just sort of... My chin! Ow, ow! Not again. <laughs> she just sort of collapsed. <laughs> Cha-ching! While everyone else was unravelling into complete and utter chaos, I finally had a private moment with Mika. Oh, look at them dancing away. They're so cute. So I've been trying to ask you all night. Will you be my girlfriend? Mm. Say yes or confess. Um, we need to confess, don't we? Let's confess. Mika, there's something I need to tell you first. Anything? Uh-oh. I, um, I... Well, isn't this predictable? There goes my golden opportunity. Oh, no. Hey, Regina. I just have to say you look beyond perfect tonight. I know. Let me guess. You got into Yale. Um, I did. What? That's awesome. You didn't... Why didn't you say anything earlier? I didn't want to make tonight about Yale. Oh, darn. Because it's about to be all about Yale. What? I guess your little plan worked which means you can stop this whole charade with poor Mika here. What is she talking about? You were right, Mika. She's an incredible actress. Because this whole time, Greenwood was using you to get to your dad. 
What? I most definitely was not. Oh, so you were using Mika's phone to text his dad what exactly then? Uh oh, oh no. Feast your eyes on the hard, awful truth. Oh no. I used Mika's phone and texted his dad. I asked him to recommend my friend Greenoid to Yale. You, you texted my dad behind my back? Oh dear. Is that going to be the end of the episode? Yes it is! Oh, what a cliffhanger! Have you burned all your bridges? Even Janice is hard pressed to help in your time of need. What is going to happen next episode? I wonder if Mika is going to ever forgive us. We should have confessed earlier. <sighs> Never mind. Right, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to use my referral code if you want. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!